The book I will be reading is titled, Who Would Win? Tarantula vs. Scorpion by Jerry Pallotta, illustrated by Rob Bolster. Right here. What would happen if a tarantula met a scorpion? What if they were both in a bad mood and had a fight? Who do you think would win? The scientific name of tarantula is Therophosa blondi. Meet the tarantula. There are almost 900 species of tarantulas. In this book, we will feature the largest the Goliath bird eater tarantula. And this says fact, most tarantulas are the size of your hand. The definition of a tarantula, it's an arachnid. An arachnid is a class of arthropods that live on land. Spiders, mites, and ticks are arachnids. This says wow. A fully grown Goliath bird eater tarantula is 12 inches across. Tarantulas are hairy spiders. Spiders have four pairs of legs. Spiders are in a group of invertebrates called arachnids. All right, here's the scorpion. The scientific name of the scorpion is Laris. Quinquestriatus. Say that again. Laris quinquestriatus. Meet the scorpion. There are more than 1,500 known species of scorpion. We will use the death stalker scorpion in our battle. Just careful. You do not want to get stung by a scorpion. A fact, the largest scorpion is the imp emperor scorpion, which is eight inches long. The death stalker scorpion is three inches long. Scorpions are also arachnids. They have two claws and an extended tail. The scorpion has a stinger on the end of its tail. Next to the stinger is the telson which is filled with poison. Tarantulas burrow. Many tarantulas live in burrows. They usually dig their own tunnel and then leave a web at the entrance to stop intruders and water from coming in. Sometimes a tarantula will move into an abandoned burrow of a snake or mouse. The definition of a burrow. A burrow is a hole or tunnel in the ground dug by an animal for a place to live. A scorpion's burrow. Scorpions live under rocks, under branches, and just about anywhere they can safely hide. Most scorpions hide during the day and come out at night. Freezing cold fact, scorpions and tarantulas do not live in Antarctica. Tarantula anatomy. So this is parts of the body. Notice the segmented body, which is divided into two parts. The legs come out of the front part, the thorax. The back part, is the abdomen. The definition, the word anatomy means the parts of a plant or animal. Another fact, spiders do not have wings. Tarantulas have tiny claws at the end of their legs. And spinnerets make silk. It looks like tarantulas have 10 legs, but they don't. The two legs beside their mouths are called palps. 
They are like arms. They help the tarantula move their food around. All right, and this is scorpion anatomy. Scorpions have two eyes on the top of their thorax and three to five pairs of eyes on the sides. The side eyes are called lateral eyes. Here's a fun fact. Scorpions have sensors on their feet that detect vibrations. Scorpions also have two claws on each foot. Scorpions do not have wings. Arachnids do not have antenna. And this is a glowing fact. Scorpions glow under black light because they reflect ultraviolet rays. Tarantula weapons. The tarantula's mouth has quite a bite. It carries poison in its fangs. It says tarantulas throw up digestive juices onto their prey. The tarantulas rub their legs against their hairy bodies and shoot hair at their attackers. This is called urticating. It is a nasty weapon that makes some animals cough and have trouble breathing. Scorpion weapons. Two claws that can bite. A stinger that can pierce. Its poison can paralyze a scorpion's victims. The scorpion has two little pinchers in its mouth. So it says scorpions are different colors depending on where they live. And scorpions also throw up on their prey. Tarantula cousins. Some animals are similar to a tarantula. Many other creatures in the animal kingdom also have eight legs. So the tarantula has eight legs, a crab, a tick, and a mite. The name tarantula comes from an Italian dance called the Tarantella. All in the family. You could say that a scorpion is a land lobster. So the lobster, the crayfish, shrimp, and scorpion are all related. Scorpions, lobsters, and crayfish all have eight legs. Scientists think they are related. Yummy. Tarantulas are not vegetarians. They are carnivores. Tarantulas hunt and eat insects, other arachnids, tiny mice, lizards, snakes, and small birds. Gross fact. When tarantulas throw up onto their prey, the digestive juices soften up their dinner so they can eat it. Tarantulas are cannibals. They eat one another. Delicious. Scorpions are not hunters. They wait for food to come to them. Scorpions mostly eat insects, spiders, and other bugs. Some scorpions can live one year without eating. Scorpions would also gladly eat one another. So they are also cannibals. Scorpions ambush their prey. It means they sneak up on them. Molting. Humans and other mammals have bones inside their bodies. Tarantulas and other arachnids have their skeletons on the outside of their bodies. To grow larger, the tarantula sheds its exoskeleton. This is called molting. Here's another fact. Tarantulas have an exoskeleton. An exoskeleton is an exterior shell. It means the bones are on the outside of the body. Mammals have an endoskeleton. That's like humans, cats, dogs. Our skeletons are on the inside. Did you know when tarantulas molt, they shed their entire skin, including the linings of their mouth, respiratory organs, and stomach? We molt too. 
Scorpions have an exoskeleton. You could say that scorpions climb right out of their own skins. This is not a picture of two scorpions. On the left is the scorpion's old shell. On the right, so this side, is the same scorpion with his new exoskeleton. Thus, so how can you tell which is the shell? It's the one without the eyes. So see how this one has the eyes? This is the real scorpion. This is his old skin. Tasty. Some people eat tarantulas. They roast them over a fire on a stick and eat them like you would eat a marshmallow. Tarantulas are said to be delicious. This is a bowl of roasted tarantulas. People in Asia, Africa, and South America enjoy eating them. Here's a question. Do you think your school cafeteria should serve tarantulas for lunch? Did you know people from the Amazon rainforest squish the guts out of the abdomen and cook it like scrambled eggs? Better than a hot dog? Humans also eat scorpions, and not just a few people, millions of people eat scorpions. Which would you prefer, scorpions on noodles or scorpions on rice and beans? Maybe for dessert, you can lick a scorpion lollipop. People in China eat millions of tons of scorpions per year. Wow. Dream this. This is a tarantula in attack mode. If you were ant-sized, this is what it would look like if you were fighting a tarantula. The Tarantulas. The Tarantulas would be a great name for a football team. Imagine that. The scorpion has a three-pronged attack. Left claw, right claw, and a piercing tail. Pretend you are fighting a giant scorpion. It would look like this. The Scorpions. The Scorpions would be a cool name for a baseball team. Young tarantulas. A mother tarantula does not take care of her young. As soon as the spiderlings are born, they are on their own. Did you know a female tarantula can live more than 20 years? Would you believe a baby spider is called a spiderling? Scorpion babies. Scorpions are good mothers. They carry their cute little babies on their backs. Scorpions have been on Earth for more than 400 million years. Scorpions have been on Earth longer than spiders. Do you think a baby scorpion is called a scorpling or a baby scorpion? A baby scorpion is called a scorpling. Things tarantulas find difficult. Finding glasses with eight lenses. Finding matching shoes. Finding a hairdresser that won't run away. Places you don't want to find a scorpion. On your face while you've been sleeping. Near the bathroom. In your lunchbox. These are just little funny jokes. The tarantula is climbing a tree. The tips of its legs are like little needles. It has no trouble climbing. There's the tarantula right there. Do you see it? The scorpion, as usual, is hidden under a rock. It doesn't want to bother anyone. It is waiting for some food to walk by. Soon it is dusk and the scorpion takes a peek outside. The scorpion gets a surprise. The tarantula jumps on top of it. Normally, the tarantula would use its legs and palps to pin down an insect and jab it with its mouth fangs. But the scorpion fights back. The tarantula does not like the snapping scorpion claws. 
the scorpion scrambles and escapes. The scorpion uses its claws and tail to fight. It backs off, then runs right at the tarantula. It grabs the tarantula's palps with its claws, then jabs one of its legs. The scorpion shoots venom into the tarantula's leg. The tarantula is bigger than the scorpion, but now one of its legs is numb. It means he cannot feel it. The tarantula flips the scorpion over, but the scorpion gets right back up and jabs another leg. While the tarantula wonders what's wrong with its legs, the scorpion jabs it in the body. The poison starts working and the tarantula eventually stops moving. The scorpion will eat the tarantula. <laughs>